in the previous video i discussed about the basic uh, design inputs the basic data before uh, starting the battery sizing calculation so in this video i will discuss about the uh, next step which is the design criteria based on the based on the dc loads so uh, this is uh, this is uh, load model uh, how uh, how the battery need to, uh, the how the battery needs to supply so there are there are three sections here one is one um, uh, type that load will be operating that will be required uh, for 0 to 1 minute next is 1 to 30 minutes and next is 30 to 59 minutes and the last one is 59 to 60 minutes that means the last last thing or uh, in some cases we can uh, we can merge these two this 1.1 1 .1 and 1 1.2 that means 1 to 30 minute and 30 to 59 minutes so this is single step so that means this will be step 2 and the last minute that means 59 to 60 minute is the third step here we have split it into four but uh, typically it is three steps so if we see the typical uh, typical load figure this is the load cycle like this so if we consider this first one this first uh, one is for the uh, one minute load so this is the one minute load which the battery uh, needs to um, provide the uh, dc supply and then one minute to 59 minutes this is the 1 minute to 59 minutes load basically this is the continuous load i will discuss in detail uh, uh, now and this is the last minute uh, load that is the 59 to 60 minute load profile so this is the dc load profile that battery needs to supply so if we see the 0 to 1 minute load so these are the loads uh, which will be operating tg package continuous load this continuous load uh, that will be there plus starting of emergency oil pump so this was the requirement in this project so we have considered this uh, starting of eop pump next tripping of 11 kv switch gear incomer and outgoing feeders outgoing um, breakers and tripping of all lv of all lv 415 volt main pmcs so incoming and uh, incoming and bus coupler breaker so this is uh, the first one minute load next is coming one to 59 minutes load so we have split it into two different parts uh, so first one is the tg package continuous load next operation of eop so this is up to 30 minutes and from the next uh, 30 minutes to 59 minutes this is only the continuous load but uh, most of the cases it is only the continuous load okay now now next is coming the uh, last minute load that is the last one minute load 59 to 60 minute load so uh, what will be included in this uh, last minute load uh, this is uh, tg package continuous load so that will be there now we need to close uh, we need to close again the 11 kb switch gear incomer and outgoing incomer and outgoing breakers and closing of lv 415 volt main pcsa incomer plus bus coupler and also the all outgoing feeders in this case we had three numbers incomer one number bus coupler and seven numbers outgoing so for all the breaker operations of of these incomers and bus couplers we need dc supply so that dc supply will be supplied by this battery so in the last minute the battery should be in a position to supply the dc power supply dc power supply to the circuit breakers for 11 kv switch gears 11, uh, for 11 kv income on uh, outgoing circuit breakers for also for the lv lv income and uh, bus coupler and also the outgoing circuit breakers and also the uh, dc continuous load which are required during normal operation also so the battery should be uh, should be sized accordingly for this 
load profile so in the next video i will uh, so how to calculate based on this based on this load profile how to uh, calculate that uh, load calculation part i will discuss